Relationships. Am I the a-hole for kicking my boyfriend out during a pandemic and calling his mom to come get him? I, 30 female, let my boyfriend Jesse, 39 male, come live with me and my niece slash nephew, who I have custody of, a year before this pandemic mess, so he moved in around the start of 2019, but we'd been dating since 2016. I own a modest three-bedroom home, left to me by my mom, that I have to pay all utilities slash property tax slash etc. on. No mortgage thank God, but everything else I pay. His lease was coming to an end soon and we decided he'd come live with us for a year to see if we'd work out as a married couple. I discussed it with my niece and nephew, and they were alright with it, since it was a test. Things went well for most of 2019, he paid for part of the utilities and helped around the house. But long story short, he lost his job at the end of 2019 and didn't try looking for a new one, he said he was, but I don't see how he had time between his day-long gaming sessions. He lived off his savings until they dried up stopped helping out around the house, and just turned into a couch potato. But the, absolute worst thing, was when he'd flip out when he was losing one of his games. He'd rage and scream, he knows I can't handle men screaming, like, at all. I talked to him and told him he couldn't act that way in my house. He got all teary and apologized and did better. For a week. Then he was right back to his crap behavior. It freaked my niece and nephew out, there's a reason I have custody of them. And around August, I finally snapped at him and said, if he didn't get his crap together, he was gone. He cried and said he was trying, and things were so hard right now and he basically guilted me into feeling bad for him. I told him he had one month to get himself together. Clean himself up, stop laying on the couch all day, do stuff around the house, look for any kind of work, etc. or he was out. He sniffled and said okay. Nothing changed. He took a shower but kept up the gaming, the rage quitting, not looking for a job, everything. Well one month after that, I told him I was done and he needed to get out that day. He turned on the waterworks again. But I was done so I called his mom to come get him. She came around, she could hear him sobbing in the background I'm sure, and it was a huge freaking scene. Turns out, he'd been lying about having a job. She shamed him into getting up and packing everything of his and leaving with her. I took his key and he gave me the most hate-filled glare on his way out. He told our friends and they said I was heartless for kicking him out mid-pandemic and that I embarrassed him by calling his mom like that. I thought I handled it maturely, but they're all saying I'm the a-hole and handled it badly. So am I the a-hole? Let's read the top comments before we read the poster's little update. Not the a-hole. Don't feel bad about your behavior for a second. He's an immature baby. I can't believe he's almost 40. He sure hasn't been acting like it lately. He was always fine and young at heart before we moved in together but he wasn't so unbearably immature. Oh my god. He's 40? I miss that. The fact that his mom came to get him, and he went, I'm glad he did, but wow. He was fun and young at heart because he had no responsibilities. You were doing it all for him. But as soon as it got hard, or something was expected of him, his true colors came out. Hate-filled glare? That is disturbing. So glad that you and the kids got that out of there. No way that you needed to have that around anymore. Yeah, he needs to sort through the mess he's become. I understand he's probably actually depressed and stuff. But it's not my job to help him anymore. Nope, not the a-hole. He should have been given the boot earlier. Especially for his behavior that scared the children. He's just embarrassed his mom found out he's been a leech off a single mom for so long. And he doesn't want his friends to know either, that he essentially acts like a toddler all day. Yeah. I talked to her and he'd apparently embellished a lot of stuff. She thought I'd hit a rough patch and he was paying most of the bills. I'm amazed how many of these am I the a-hole threads have a similar theme, boyfriend moves in, loses job, get addicted to gaming, at least it's not D's, stops helping with chores, and is shocked when the partner kicks him out. Good job getting rid of dead weight, OP not the a-hole. Little edits from the poster. Edit. I just sent a detailed message about everything that happened to the group discord all our mutual friends chat on. I didn't spare a single detail and even told them if they didn't believe me, to call his mom, she knows what's up. I'll see what they have to say. Edit 2. Well one of our mutual friends heard my side of the breakup, yes, we are broken up now, and went to go talk to him and she grilled him over text about what he said slash what I said and he eventually broke down and admitted he lied, and had been for a while. 
She in turn posted the screenshots of him, admitting he'd lied to try and make me look like the bad guy. Our friends aren't amused, and all of them apologize to me, both in the chat and via call, for jumping the gun without hearing my side first. I've forgiven them, but let them know having them treat me like that without even seeing what I had to say first, hurt a lot, since I tried for months to get Jesse to get help, but he refuses. Things are better on the friend front, but Jesse keeps trying to private message me and I haven't looked at any of them. Honestly, I just don't want to talk to him for a while. I'm very tired and want to just enjoy my now clean and quiet house. And to those concerned, my niece and nephew are both doing much better. They're both not cooped up in their rooms anymore and are doing their Zoom classes in the kitchen without worry of embarrassment. Now for the second story. Am I the a-hole for not wanting to babysit my boyfriend's 12-year-old son? I, 27 female, have only been with my boyfriend, 40 male, for 7 months. My boyfriend received full custody of his 12-year-old son 4 months ago, because of behavioral issues. My boyfriend works nights at a bar so his schedule is 3 to 11. I told him I didn't mind watching him in the beginning, he basically guilt tripped me, but it has turned into something that is just expected of me. I feel chained to his one bedroom apartment when I'm there. His son plays video games all day, does not want to talk to me, does not want to leave the house to do activities. I basically make him food and he says thanks, and keeps playing video games. It is making me miserable, resentful, and depressed. I had to leave once to help my grandmother who has high functioning dementia, who I also help care for, I told his son there was spaghetti in the fridge and to microwave it when he gets hungry. He told his dad I did not feed him and after, I explained he can use a microwave and I left spaghetti in the fridge. He basically still said, it's my job to make sure he's fed, and called me unreliable. I don't think babysitting his son is my responsibility. If he can't afford a babysitter, that is, his problem. He should not have agreed to full custody with the expectations that other people would do it for him. I also have a life to live and feel used and taken advantage of. Now for the top comments. So, this 12 year old has behavior issues and has just been sent to live with his dad. Dad works the afternoon and evening hours, after school and on weekends, and you, the girlfriend of 7 months is left to parent this kid who apparently needs some extra help, and with whom you have no relationship? You feel taken advantage of because you are being taken advantage of in a huge and inappropriate way. There are many reasons men hook up with women 13 years younger than they are. But one of the obvious ones is so they can control them. Most women the age of your boyfriend, 40, would tell a boyfriend of 7 months, nope, when asked to be full-time parent to a troubled preteen. Not the a-hole. Yay he needs to hire a babysitter to be on the house with OP or work from home. We do not live together. You are not relationship compatible with this person. He wants you to be a caretaker for his son. If you did not sign up for the job and you know you don't want it, then you have no choice but to end the relationship because this is going to be expected of you from this point forward. There is no compromise here. He has full custody of his son and that child is going to take precedent moving forward. There is no reality where you go back to the way things were before the kid moved in and someone else takes care of the child. This is how things are going to be moving forward. If that is a deal breaker for you, then communicate it and move on with your life. Not the a-hole. I like his son, and being a parent down the road is absolutely okay. But we do not live together and I'm neglecting duties at my own home. Being thrown into a babysitter slash nanny at 7 months into a relationship, is just not okay to me. Not the a-hole. Girl. There are some warning signs in this post I hope you recognize. First of all, you do not owe this man all of your free time. The one night you had to leave and had a valid excuse to do so, he called you unreliable because his son didn't listen? That's gaslighting. Also, I'm saying this from personal experience, but you may want to analyze why there's such an age difference between you. When I was 25, I dated a 40 year old, and guess who has two thumbs and ended up in an emotionally and mentally abusive relationship? This gal. Does this guy have stuff about him that women his own age wouldn't tolerate? Because it sounds like he's taking pretty lenient advantage of your time and trying to make you out to be the bad guy if you don't do what he wants. The fact that you said he heavily guilted you into babysitting in the first place, shows that he's manipulative. Do these behaviors spill out into other areas of your relationship? You're only 7 months in and he's made you a stay-at-home mom for his kid, against your wishes. Food for thought, now for the last story. Am I the a-hole for getting in the way of my wife bonding with our girls, 
by not refusing to spend time with them when wanted? I, 40 male, am the father of two beautiful girls Anna, 14 female, and Lisa, 6 female, I love my girls deeply but I always felt like they love their mom, 42 female, more, because I was always away working. Earlier this year, my wife and her friends went overseas for a two-week girls trip. I was happy for her because this is something that she and her friends always talked about doing, but had to keep putting it off. I also wanted to take this opportunity to be with my girls more and took a whole week off of work. Then the pandemic hit, and those two weeks my wife was away turned into months because the foreign government didn't want people flying in with a virus. My girls and their mother were all heartbroken and I was temporarily not working. My wife was a stay-at-home mom and kept the house running, so I was a little panicked about keeping the house together for the long run but I knew I needed to be calm and decisive for my girls. After about one to two days of panicking, I sucked it up in front of them and secretly would vent to my friends. Not gonna lie, it was a rough start because my wife was more organized than me, and had a solid routine. I knew that I could always ask Anna what to do, but I didn't want to, because I knew how upset she was about not seeing her mom and friends, and being worried about the virus because of her asthma. She had enough to deal with, so I just figured it out. Eventually I got it all down and I was able to work from home. It was less hours, but I got a promotion which came with a raise so my income didn't decrease. While away, my girls and I would spend a lot of time together watching movies slash TV shows, taking weekend walks, doing puzzles, playing dolls, and I even let Hannah paint my nails. During the time my wife was away, Lisa lost her first tooth, celebrated her sixth birthday, and Anna got her first period. My girls and I bonded a lot. And when my wife was able to come home, I felt as if my family was complete again. However, after the first few days, my girls went back to wanting to spend more time with me. I could tell that my wife's feelings were hurt, but I didn't know what else I could do. After putting Lisa into bed, she had gotten used to falling asleep with me, my wife approached me and said, that whenever our girls wanted to spend time with me, to refuse so that they would come back to her like the old days. I suggested we have more family nights and outings instead. She said it wouldn't work, because they would just start gravitating to me and that she needed more single parent time. I told my wife that I would support more mother-daughter activities, but I was not going to turn our girls away when I didn't have to. My wife was deeply upset and offended by this and accused me of being unsupportive of her reconnecting with our girls, after being away for so long. I don't really see it that way but, am I the a-hole? Now for the top comments. Not the a-hole. Her request was ridiculous. She's just mad she's not the favorite anymore. Why, thank you my darling husband, for being such a good father while I was stuck overseas, but I'm back now, so if you could just ignore the girls until they have a better bond with me again, that would be great. Please give out young daughters lasting issues by being emotionally and physically unavailable. Your wife is a stay-at-home mom, so obviously a lot of her life is centered around being the primary parent to your two children, she must feel weird coming home, having missed big milestones in her daughter's lives and not returning to the same family dynamic that she left you guys with. There is no reason for you to be a jerk to your children though, just so your kids will be mommy's little girls again. The family activities are a great idea. Not the a-hole. Not the a-hole. Your wife is asking you to deliberately ruin your relationship with your daughters. That's really messed up. And not to mention psychologically scarring for the girls, holy hell. This is such a deeply selfish request. OP your wife is literally asking you to emotionally scar your kids with parental rejection, because, she, is feeling insecure that they prefer you right in this moment of time. Which gee if she is the kind of person to even ask this, and OP is the kind of dude to not put pressure on his daughter to manage a household, because he knew she was a kid dealing with stuff and managed it himself on a learning curve I wonder why these kids might prefer their dad. 100% not the a-hole OP. Not the a-hole, your wife is jealous and trying to make you into the bad guy by pushing your girls away. You offered a solution, and she chose not to accept it because she misses being the favorite parent. She's trying to alienate you from the girls now that she's back, and that's not fair. I'd let her have the options that Fridays can be girls night, Saturdays game night and Sundays movie night. If she says no again, you can let her know that she's driving a wedge between the family cause of jealousy, and maybe she needs a therapist. And that's it for this video guys, if you have thoughts to share, leave a comment below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you like this content. Turn the notification on to get updated on my latest posts. I'll catch you in the next one.